I have a lot of doctors that refer their patients to forest yoga and I'm very honored to have that interfacing with the medical world and it's like yes this person just had this health issue and they they need to get healthy so yeah, great. great we can we can do that and they're also going to get so much more than they bargained for because we do work on this emotional clearing you know getting all the emotional backlog that's archived in the cell tissue it gets washed out we do work on getting people to be able to listen to their intuition and to their heart and eventually to connect to their spirit which is profound profound life priority and yet we don't even make it a priority because we haven't even recognized that we've lost that connection right. so all of that's available and if a person comes in because they want to lose 10 pounds or because their doc said you need to rehab this knee before you go back into your profession you know as a professional football player or whatever it is that's great whatever reason brings people in we're, we'll work with that and they'll also get so much more because one of the things people don't recognize that they get is they begin to nourish their starving heart and that's profound they begin to rejuvenate their organs they didn't even come for that but that starts to happen then they begin to start to quest for their spirit and make that connection and so this isn't like a religion where you have to pray to God and do these weird steps and it's not like that it's a, it's a genuine feeling for how do I connect to my own spirit and then what is really wondrous is beginning to get those flickers of connection until it's moments and then maybe it's a whole class and then you get really more advanced and then how do you connect to your spirit when you're off the mat so using my Native American ceremony teachings because that's woven into forest yoga is the ceremony you know which, be, which is that spiritual nourishment I've taught my forest yoga teachers how to bring that in so people on the mat going in there to get hot and sweaty or lose their weight or de-stress or whatever they're there for right. they also get this very deep profound spiritual nourishment along with sweating and sweating out the toxicity of the day or sweating out their crazy yayas or whatever it is mm -hmm. and so it's actually really great whatever brings people in the forest yoga is fine it's a knee injury it's losing 10 pounds from binging over the holidays great whatever brings you in and just stay mm -hmm. give some of your time and attention to being on the mat on a regular basis and you will get more than you ever even imagined mm -hmm. but it takes that ongoing application just like if you wanted to change your diet and nutrition it's not eating one good meal a month mm -hmm. it's you need to change how you eat every day and then you start to feel the difference yeah what was your own process like to get to that point where what started out i presume as a physical practice ended up being a profound way for you to connect with spirit well, I had to bring it in myself because I wasn't getting that in yoga. So a number of years into yoga, like I said, I was I was perceiving where there was emptiness, not in a good way, just like there's there's not really a way of touching in. Or as I was reading yoga books and I was listening to people, it just it didn't apply to me. It didn't apply to my problems and my anguish and my suffering. It's like I need help with this. And so I went into a, a number of different modalities so you know it's the beginning of this exploration but i went into hands-on healing and reiki and many different forms of healing and studying as a regression therapist mm -hmm. working with trauma and most importantly going into native american medicine and ceremony and it was through medicine native american medicine when i say medicine not the american medical association <laughs> that I was able to do ceremony to connect to my spirit. And that's when I began to explore how do I bring this in? Because I won't be able to bring most of my people up onto the mountain so that they can go on vision quests for their spirit for days on end or years on end. How do I bring it in onto the map so they can quest and connect to their spirit? It's part of what I brought in. And there's, there's talk in yoga classes about spirit, but most of it, is not genuine it's just somebody reading something and you know that's a start but it just starts to sound like so much 
new age blather, just blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And when the teacher can get confident enough to teach from her own or his own truth, then whatever they have to say is so much more profound. Instead of quoting Patanjali or all these dead people, it's like, we didn't come to this class for dead people. We came to work with you. Would you please give us something that's genuine and meaningful from you? Yeah. You know? And so when our teachers do that, it's, it's wondrous. It's just like, thank you. I can use that in my life. 